In this example, we'll show how to use the graphing calculator to fit a quadratic model to a set of data that we're given. We're using the same data we used in the previous example when we plotted the points using the calculator. Now we're going to fit a model to it. So let's go over to the calculator, and first we would need to enter this data. Now I've already entered it, but you can go to the previous example if you want to see how to do that. On the calculator, if we enter the stat edit option, we can enter the data here and notice that it's already put in. So now we want to go back to that stat menu, and instead of the edit options where we're entering data, if we scroll over to the calc options, there are a lot of things here, but the one we're looking for is quadratic fitting. So we're looking for quadratic regression, which is abbreviated quad reg number five here. So we can scroll down to select it or just type in the number five and it will select that option. So if we scroll down and hit enter, it gives us a menu just to fill in what we need to for this model. So it asks, where do we put our X values? Where do we put the Y values? And as long as you enter your X's in the first list and the Y's in the second list, you don't have to change anything on this menu. So we can scroll all the way down to calculate. And it thinks for a minute and gives us the values of A, B, and C that fill in our model. So we're using T as our variable instead of X, and we're using P of T instead of Y, but otherwise it's the same setup, and we can just read these values off. So our model will look like P of T equals 0 0.40 T squared plus 2.04 T plus 50.07. So notice that we're just filling in values for A, B, and C, where A is multiplied by T squared, B is multiplied by T, and C is the constant value. That's what the first line tells you, is it tells you the form of this quadratic model, then the next three lines give you the values for A, B, and C. That last line, R squared, we won't worry about too much at this point, but basically the closer that is to one, the better this model fits the data. So this model fits this data very, very well, because that R squared value is almost one. But there's the model the way that we would write it in this chapter, with T as our variable instead of X, and P sub T instead of Y. That's the model that fits this data after doing quadratic regression.